I look so dead inside. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome to the latest episode of Child Time with JP as we do box number six of Munch Pack. I am joined once again by Lily and Jill. And in just a few moments, we'll dive into our latest box here to see what kind of weird, crazy, and strange items we received this time. Hey, Glenda. Hello. Hey, Rob. Hey, Rhonda. There's Tom, Melissa, Jenny, Glenda, Barb, Bonnie. Welcome, everyone. Glad to see you here. Hey, Pam, Edith. It's been a little while since we did a Child Time episode, but we are back and ready to torture ourselves, so. Hey, Jess. Also, too, while you're watching, if you're watching this on the replay or live, leave a comment. Let us know if, if you think we're going to get more good items than bad or vice versa. We really don't know what's going to be in here, obviously, until we open it, but I'm rooting for more good things than bad. I don't want to really spin anything out. Hopefully, there's no um, seaweed. <laughs> hey, Edith. So we got Marty, Mel, Kathy, Nick, Don, Michelle, Mike, Donna. Another Michelle, Marty, Rob, Edith. Everyone. Sharon, Jane, Little Fan. Here's Barbara. Bonnie, Jason, Barb, Mazer's Closet. Welcome, everyone. And we've got a super chat already. JP, I'm back. Where's Jinx? I am. I are Mexican. That's Humberter. Oh. <laughs> Jinx is sleeping right where he should be. Thank you for the super chat. I think things in the middle. Okay. Well, we'll see, Rob. Make him eat seaweed. <laughs> I already done that. That's torturous enough. Once is enough. Snack time. Hey, Renee. Hey, Adam. Hey, Rapids. So, okay. So hey, this Karen. is box number six of Munch Pack, which is a subscription snack service. Hopefully you can hear me too. I do have the microphone down low, but oh. I think we'll be okay. Narnia says it's crackling. Is anybody else crackling out there? Is audio coming through okay? If there's any issues, let me know. You may have to probably do a refresh, maybe. I don't know. Wait for some responses here. Same. Cracking. Hmm. All right, see if that's any better. If not, I will just unplug the microphone. I think it's crackling for some people. Is it better now? Okay. No. Well, some people are saying better, some better. Mm. Not good. <laughs> when you talk, better. Rolling rocks at skunks. <laughs> better seems to be okay. If there's any more issues, let me know. I'll unplug it if I have to. I don't know why I would be doing that. Plug well, is on the tripod. Let me try this. Hang on. Maybe that'll be better. See if you guys can hear us better now. Maybe no crackling. Crackling again. Shouldn't do it. It's my purple panda mic. It always sounds good. Probably not on the tripod. Might be. Hey, Jane. Worse. Worse. Much better. <laughs> We're getting conflicting <laughs> reports here. <laughs> so it's still crackling. Okay, let me just unplug it and hopefully it's that'll work. I don't have it. Where is it? In the car. Okay, so I unplugged it. <laughs> How does this sound now? It, I know it sounds a little different, but did the crackling go away? Worst comes the worst. I could restart the stream, but it's not how I want to start the stream. So sorry about that. Now I can't hear you. <laughs> what the heck? All right, give me one second. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I was buffering because I refreshed the stream. Let me know if it's better now. Hi, Raven. I'm sorry if there's any issues. Um, my worst case scenario is I'll have to end the stream through the YouTube app and go through Prism. Is better. it better? 
good now? <laughs> Gotta stop these squirrels. <laughs> okay. Got that out of the way. The wonder, wonderful time of being a live streamer on YouTube. So, okay. Once again, we do have box number six, a munch pack. This is a subscription snack service. It gets into us once a month. Um, and I could discontinue it any time. So far, we are enjoying it. So we do get a new one each and every month. So we're going to open it up and see what we got. Move that over there, please. So they do put a personalized... Um, sometimes it's personalized. Hi, Joe. Usually who it's sent from. But this time they didn't have a personal identification card as two made our box for us. But we do get a pamphlet showing us some of the items that are in here. So we'll let Jill handle that. So no particular order. We're just going to go through them and then try them for you. First one is called Jolly Pong. Which South Korea. South Korea. Looks like little tiny peanuts or something like that. Delicate corn and wheat puffs. Corn Come together bring the perfect combination of sweet, salty, and crunchy into one single snack. It looks like this uh, expired already. Oh. 120 2020. No. So. I mean, it's wait. sealed. Here's another. Yeah, it's night. Yeah, but then there's oh. a 7 19 20, okay. 20 So maybe it was packed on that and then. Oh, well, yeah. There's writing I can't read, but I saw the dates. I thought that was the expiration date. I think it's a packaging date and it looks like it expires in July. So, okay. It's going to say, how dare they send us stale food? How dare they? I'll do a couple. You could do a couple. Um, we got hers deep dish pizza flavored cheese curls. I'm pretty sure these are American. Yes. Never Super saw that. Crunchy those. puffed curly chips with all the incredible savory and gooey cheese flavor of traditional Chicago style deep dish pizza. Now I do know Lily likes cheese curls. Did I might? <laughs> so I'm not sure these are available in markets or not, but definitely different. Uh, do two of them. There is a brownie. <laughs> so we have Mr. Brownie. And that's from Spain. Spain. And this rich and luscious chocolate brownie is scrumptious on all its own. However, Mr. Brownie took on another level of delicious by adding candy coated chocolate bits on top. <laughs> wow. Banshee. The funny thing is it says um, rich, moist, and fudgy galactic brownie. So I guess it has some colorful candies mixed in. It has a funny little guy with the derby hat on there too. You'd be a good spokesperson for commercials. <laughs> Next one. So we have Llama Bar. Llama, Llama Bar? Did we have one of those before? I don't think so. This is, uh, looks like a Munch Pack exclusive. Oh, America. It it's from the United States. Made from smooth white confections and sweet crunchy cereal bits throughout. It's like having a delicious bowl of your favorite fruity cereal in our convenient bar. <laughs> wow. wow. It says uh, milk and fruity cereal flavored pink confection bar. Tricks are for kids. And it's got llamas who look like they're ready to go to the beach. They were in their shades. They had those brownies at my store. Okay, good to know. So if we like it, we could get more. Mm. Do one more. Sponge cakes. <laughs> Who's it from? So a a crack. A crack. A crack. Chocolate or strawberry. It's from Turkey. Turkey. Moist and spongy cake that has not one but two delicious flavors. Whoa. Flavors you could receive. One is luxurious double chocolate and the other vanilla with sweet, fruity, strawberry filling. Chocolate! <laughs> it actually looks pretty good according to the package, but looks could be deceiving. We know that. Mm -hmm. You got a little tiny one here. Doblin. Costa Doblin or Doblin. Oh, and that's from Chile. Chile. Crunchy chocolate coated biscuit with sweet, creamy vanilla flavored filling. Try dipping these Costa Classic. Costa Classics in your favorite tea or milk and enjoy. Mm, hear that, Hank? <laughs> Costa. Oh, nuts. Gras nuts. Lime peanuts. Oh, where's that at? Oh, there it is. Where's That's this from? from Colombia. Colombia. A balanced mixture of crunchy and soft textures in every bag. This snack is a great at any time of the day with lots of delicious flavors you'll love, whichever one you receive. Mm. I'm not sure I'm going to like those. Uh, let's see. We got, we got another doubler on or whatever the heck it is. I'll do this one and then you can do the last three. Mm. 
There's another one of the same one. Oh, so we got two of them? Yeah. Okay. Uh, this Just one is we like the first one. Trigo's Waffles. One milk chocolate waffle with soft butter toffee center made with the finest of Belgian chocolate. Ah, oh, here it is. It's from the United Kingdom. It says food from Wales. So this the UK. Creamy, chewy, top tiered waffles filled with soft butter toffee. They make the perfect quick breakfast or on the go treat at any time of the day. Folks, person. <laughs> That actually sounds pretty good. All right, finish it off. Gummies. <laughs> Let's see. There's sharks. Sharks. And that's from France. France. What's it say? What's France. Flippy. Flippy? Yeah. What's that? I don't know. It says <laughs> every bite of these gummy treats is a tidal wave of delicious flavor. Adorably shaped and equally as tasty. France? Yes. Come these gummy France. sharks. <laughs> Are a delicious, dangerously delicious snack. So, like from the movie Coneheads, France. He's come from France. <laughs> I think they might be baby sharks. But we're not going to sing the song. Oh God, no. So we have the sour sticks mix. We may have had those before. And that's from the Netherlands. Chewy, it's got and a... fruity candy with just the right amount of sour kick in every bite. All the original flavors you love combined into one convenient. It says strawberry, apple, raspberry, and tutti frutti. <laughs> Keep it soft. Try all our delicious flavored snacks and belts. What are belts? Strawberry, raspberry, apple, cola, wild cherry, and pink lemonade. 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 Is it a tiger or a lion? Lion. Lion. Lion, lion screaming. That's too sour. So we'll yeah. let you guys have first pick here. Something simple. Would you like us to try salty or sweet or sour? So one for salty, two for sweet, three for sour. And then we'll go from there. Are you going to remember that? One salty, two sweet, three sour. Okay. So we got some sharks in the chat there. <laughs> It's like we have a lot of threes, which is sour. And this is the only sour thing, right? Mm -hmm. So I guess we're going to start with sour. And we came in second, probably number two, which was sweet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we'll do three, two, one. Sour, sweet, salty. See? I got it. You got lucky. Hooked on phonics work for me. Phonics? That was an infomercial. Uh, Teacher, what was that for reading? So they're like little hair. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like uh, little sour sticks, but they're like gummy type texture. They smell good. I'm gonna take a blue one. I'm gonna take red. I'll take green. No, it's notoriously known that Jill does not like anything sour, so we'll see how she does with these. They smell good. <laughs> sour fettuccine. Yeah, that's a pretty good description. <laughs> Uh. Shouldn't have you dance. Mm. <clears throat> that face means that she loves it. She wants more. Here, have some. Mm -mm. I'll share my thoughts in a second, but she wants to go first. She could. I don't like it. <laughs> no said. Three and four. I don't like it. There you have it. Thanks for watching. <laughs> so, I don't like the texture. I love the flavor. The sour is not too sour for me. Me and Lily like sour. <laughs> it's really tough and chewy, though. It's not like a soft gummy. So, it's a little more tougher than I would like. But the blue raspberry and sour flavor is good. Come on. Can I try that part? You'll finish that one. Yeah. So, would I eat them again? I would eat it again, but I wouldn't pick them just because I don't like the texture. Just too tough and chewy. I like it a lot. But mm -hmm. the, um, what are those watermelon ones that we get, that you got for Easter? Those sour... Sour Patch. Sour Patch kids are better texture. They're softer and chewier. No, I don't take a little bit more than that for me to hurl, but... Um, oh, you've heard once before. What was it from? Chips. Oh, I, it was something in the last one that we did. Yeah, something in the last episode made her run through the trash can. 
And so it looks like Niagara Falls. Okay, so next one was... Oh, it was that fishy thing that you made me eat. Oh, yeah, that was the, uh, from Monica sent us, that fish flake food stuff from Japan. That was gross. He th she threw up like Niagara Falls. <laughs> so next is sweet, right? So we'll go with... Uh, Dobleron. Doblon. Costa Doblon. I keep on wanting to say Toblerone. <laughs> You're eating those now. What are you eating right now? Those uh, sour sticks or sour patch kids? Sour gummies give me a bitter beer face. That's kind of what she had. <laughs> Interesting. So inside you get a. Uh... I'll break this in. Actually, here, just open up this one. Easy. <laughs> so you get like a chocolate covered wafer or cookie. Wait, sour that? watermelons, okay. Yeah, it smells good. The chocolate's already melting though. That's good. Makes your nose in the shiny head. I kind of like that. That's not. I put three coats of wax on. It's not really sweet. It's really good. Hmm. No, make sure we get these um, through the mail. Um, it's a subscription. So what would you... Did you notice another flavor besides chocolate in there? No. I taste like vanilla. Yeah. Vanilla cookie or wafer. wafer. Oh, yeah, the wafer. Yeah, so the wafer, biscuit, cookie, whatever you want to call it, has vanilla tasting to it, flavoring. And you got the chocolate coating. It was a good snack. It's... Uh, I'm not sure if these are available anywhere over here, but I would definitely get that again. Now we have to go. Yeah, Lily's dancing. She likes it. She doesn't realize that she does it sometimes, too. She's like, <laughs> she's like, why are you doing that? I'm like, because you're doing it. I'm like, oh. All right, so now we have to go with salty. What do we got for salty? Chips? Um, Gummies. All right, what do you want to go with for salty? Can I pick one? If it's salty, yeah. Is that salty? Yeah. It should be. Deep oh. dish pizza. Cheese curls. Open it. Sorry if it's loud. <laughs> I got them open. Uh, 90 percent air. Richie, I have unlimited amount of turtle wax. As you mentioned, I am sponsored by them. So my head and my car are the shiniest ones in town. That's good. What? <laughs> So here they are. What is it? Cheese, um, deep, dish, deep pizza. dish pizza, cheese curls. Smells like a regular cheese curl. It's got some seasoning on it, like oregano maybe. Yeah, they're pretty good. Tastes like Dorito. Tastes like a regular cheese curl. Yeah, it tastes like Dorito. Tastes like Dorito. Let me take one more. I don't taste any pizza. Maybe. Maybe a hint of Doritos, but. Adam, I got two sponsors now. McGuire's and Turtle Wax, so. Be jealous. <laughs> okay, so you're eating a second one. Eat another one. I actually do, do get a little bit of like pizza sauce taste. Like after you swallow it, give it a second. I taste a little bit of hint of like pizza sauce. Only well, sauce, though? Do you? I still think it tastes like a Dorito. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, it's not a bad taste. It's a good taste. Yeah, I mean, they taste good. I actually taste more pizza flavor now after I ate two of them. I mean, I would actually say we would buy those. I actually like those better than regular cheese curls. It has more flavor to it. So, I, I like those. Your wife looks so young, yes. But actually, I'm actually older than him. <laughs> believe it or not, she is a mail-order bride. She's only 18. <laughs> and we just got her visa approved. 90 Day Fiance. Yeah, that, that reason I made that joke up is because we're watching a show on TLC called 90 Day Fiance. And the one guy you're watching is called Big Ed. And he's got no neck. He's got uh -huh. some kind of spinal thing. So he's like this. And he's trying to marry this like 19 year old. What What is she? She's Philippine. 23. She's 23. 23? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and she's from Philippines. Yeah, Filipino girl. She has a dead inside book. She's, you can tell she's not into him. But she's going to get a green card through him. He's like in his 50s. She's 23. Hottest couple out there. Entertaining. Yeah, entertaining yeah, to is. watch. 
Uh, okay, let's see. I guess we'll try something Jill would probably like, lime peanuts. She doesn't look so sure about that. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. Well, you'd like it more than me, probably. Big Ed is not in his right mind. But he is fun to watch. Him and who else is from this season? Is it not Caesar, right? It's, um, is it Caesar? No, that was from the last season. Who's the other one? That 60 year old trying to meet oh, in Ukraine? Lana. Lana. Yeah, David. Lana. David, the 60 year old going to Ukraine. Some of the people on there are just. He's stupid. It's, it's good TV. <laughs> I'm going to smell like regular peanuts. They're peanuts. You're not going <laughs> to die from them. I don't like peanuts. Smell like peanuts. Smell like peanuts. They look like peanuts. Mmm. Oh, they're sour. <laughs> oh, I don't like them. Mm. <laughs> Do you like them? <laughs> mm -mm. You don't like them, though? Well? Oh, she's washing it down with chocolate. Why is he in blocking my nose? So surprisingly, I actually like them. Um, Jill thinks they're sour. I don't. What do they you? They taste crap. Okay, so if you ever want to know what crap tastes like, <laughs> buy ground gra nuts. Mm -hmm. No, I mean there's a little hint of sour. It, I guess it's lime flavor, but it's not how they're making out to be. I actually think they're pretty good. I wouldn't how, necessarily how? be my first choice, but. They're more salty than anything else. Why well, all I taste is the sour lime. All I taste is just crap. <laughs> this is lime peanuts. I don't think they're supposed to be sour. I don't know. Crap, lime, sour peanuts. Yeah. Okay, I guess we'll go with something that Lily would probably like. The Llama bars. Llama bar. Munch pack exclusive. Break it out of here. Oh, there we go. Break out the Mountain Dew quickly. I was going to say, I thought these were expired, but it expires in 21. Ooh, pink. Pink. Yeah, so it's actually a pink bar, and it's got Ooh. all like colored um, chocolate pieces or candy pieces in there. So fruity it's pebbles. It yeah, like. it is. I guess it is fruity pebbles, right? Looks like it. Hmm. Smells decent. Right, Christine? Hmm. It tastes like something. Like it's Fruity Pebbles cereal. No. <clears throat> Sex? One more. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, it's actually, I actually really like this. Made with real llamas. Shh, don't tell anyone. Zombie, nothing has passed you. That is indeed true. I like it. It tastes pretty good. You gotta be more descriptive, not just like or dislike. It tasted fruity. I didn't, I didn't taste the fruity pebbles, but all together it tastes pretty good. Lots so, of pebbles. <laughs> it's a pink confection bar. The sweet mix. Milk and fruity cereal. I know it was good. I mean, it looks different, which is kind of cool. You do taste chocolate, but you do taste the other flavors too. It's almost like white chocolate. It tastes like, mm -hmm. and you do get the fruity bits of cereal. The cats are sleeping right now. Yes. They, they they take a siesta around this time, and then they're up for a little while after. Uh, SD seventy. I've not heard of that. Give me another water. Yeah. Thank you. Well, I'll get it. You get it? Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I guess we'll go with uh what will the audience pick? Thank you. So you guys could pick next. We could go with the chocolate waffle number one or the Mr. Brownie. 
number two. So comment what you like us to taste next. Number one or number two. Got a mouse on your sweater. <laughs> what? Got a mouse on your sweater. <laughs> Looks like one. I guess we're not good enough. Everybody wants the cats. <laughs> well, Looks like one is... Uh... No, two is coming back. Moderators, what do you guys think? Who do you think won? Number one or number two? Ashley saying number one. One Adam saying number one. Okay, so number one is the waffle. So we'll do that first, and then we'll do the brownie. Well, we want to taste how they taste individually. That way we know if we like it or not. If you combine it, it's going to kind of spoil that effect. But sometimes it's fun to do that. So it's a pretty much a big waffle cookie. <laughs> No smell to it, just very faint of chocolate. Ooh. I thought it was going to be like crunchy. It's like... Oh. It's going to be vacuuming anyway, so... Mm. Yeah, I thought it was going to be crunchy. It's like uh, marshmallowy. Ah. So don't worry about that. <laughs> so texture-wise, you know, I'm not liking it too much from the way it looks. You're eating It's hard. Reminds me of the, are they spoke waffles from Germany? It reminds me of Not that. like a moon pie, no. It's not bad. It's not like super sweet. It's like, it's really plain. It's not plain. It's, it's just mild. It's different. I don't know. I'm not crazy about it. Very hard to chew though. It's like it's either marshmallow or nougat in there. It's very like put do something with that bottle. <laughs> <laughs> now I hear <laughs> So um yeah, I'm not crazy about it. I was hoping it was gonna be better. I thought it was gonna be crunchy like a waffle. It wasn't. Oh, so it's, hope if I read the package. I'm saying <laughs> nougat or marshmallow, it's toffee. Yeah, you read that the first time. I know, I forgot. Soft butter toffee center. That would make sense. So, yeah, I'm not crazy about that one. So, uh, second Brownie. is Mr. Brownie, which mm. I think Mike said they sell these at his store. Rich, moist, and fudgy. Galactic Brownie. <laughs> Oh, it's like wet. Well, you said moist. <laughs> oh, that's a wrapper. <laughs> you got to get You're batting a thousand right now. <laughs> Maybe I should just stop the episode right now. Stop yeah. and restart. Well, no, they are kind of wet. I'm not going <laughs> too crazy here. They said moist. Oh. It is moist. It's like soggy. I mean, soggy brownies would probably taste good. I don't know. Yeah, yeah okay. Like, it's like. It's supposed to be a galactic brownie, and it's literally like M &Ms. <laughs> poop in a wrapper. Like, it's like someone took a dump and it's, it's fresh. Good though, it smells good. It, I don't know. It doesn't look appealing. It's very moist. Like, I know people don't like that word, but it is moist is a clear description of it. Jesus. Jane says Jill likes something. Yeah, look at the back of the wrapper. If it'll come up on camera, it is actually moist. It's wet. Shiny. So I'm not losing my mind here. I mean, it tastes good, though. It's a fun No, I, mm, I don't I, like brownies to begin with, but... I'll, I'll say it tastes better than it looks, mm -hmm. but that is, like, too gooey, though. It's, like, it's it's so moist and wet. It's like sticking to your fingers. It's. Arnia said it's sweating. Might be sweating. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, it, thankfully it tastes better than it looks, but it's really Big Show, doesn't Big look very appetizing. Big Shoe said no thanks. Who? Big Shoe said no, no thanks. thanks. <laughs> Nine Danka. Nine. It's kind of greasy. Yeah, there's uh, some residue off my fingers. It's Shrek's poo. Somebody said. So we got three things left, and we got. <laughs> well, let's all pick one. What do you want to do? Uh, we'll do those. Those jolly tongs. Darby travels two dollars. Hello, JP. The wartime vets love you. God bless. Thank you, Darby. Okay. Hands are all slippery now. My aren't. Yeah, okay. Are really... Well, ours are. What are these ones? You remember the little the the cereal with the frog guy on it? Like what are they called? Those those puff. Those oh. That. <laughs> that's what it smells like. <laughs> remember? It's not pops, right? No, but it was like the. Oh, I hated those. Honey, things. honey smacks. No, it. Oh, maybe it was honey smacks. I just remember the frog on there with sneakers and a, and a baseball hat. I know and, what you're picturing. And it was like a, a corn wheat puffy thing that tastes horrible. Corn snacks? And Sh it does sugar? taste like that, yeah. Sugar snacks? M maybe. <laughs> Where are these from? Um, Taiwan? Korea. So South Korea. Yeah, no. <laughs> so if you can see the inside, that's what it looks like. I didn't like them as a kid. I don't like them now. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, they're very light and like fluffy. They taste fine. Mm. <laughs> tastes like dry cereal. They're really light and fluffy though, like not like dense. It's like airy. Mm -hmm. Not crazy about the flavor though. You know what? That almost has like a slight coffee flavor to me, which I don't like coffee at all. Coffee. Yeah, there's that that whole thing right there is probably the worst one for me. <laughs> Wiping the window, huh? <laughs> I I mean, if I had to eat these, I would, but not voluntarily. It's I do like the texture. I just don't like the flavoring. So, I think Honey Smacks or whatever they're called would have taste better. Okay, Miss Van, Miss Vanna White, ask the audience what they want to pick next. What do you want, the whales or the? Oh. Got their sharks. It can be wherever it is. Is it sharks and whales? Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna guess not. Okay, well, pull them. Sharks and whales or the sponge cake? Number, like what oh. number? Um, this is one and this is two. You're getting quite boring. Well, don't watch then, Chris. Go watch someone else. Sharks. What was one? So it looks like we're getting a lot of number ones. So Mod, what do you guys think? One or two? Who who won here? Well, Adam says one. <laughs> Adam is one with the lead. Is it still one? We're getting threes. What? is being silly. I'm still going to call you Hunberter because that's all I remember you as. And regardless of what you think, we love Taco Bell. <laughs> One is ahead. Okay, so sharks it is. Or whales, whatever. They make gummy packaging so like hard to open. We'll leave it up to you, Justin. You're the one with the singing voice, not me. Singing the baby shark song. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I got the black shirts. I, <coughs> excuse me, I got a blue one. It smells good. It's got a two tone. It's like sky blue and then white on the bottom. Let me try a black one. I try blue. 
I don't really care for them. Yeah. I like them. Oh, they're not bad. But... I was hoping they were going to taste better. Now, the texture of these is what I like. If these, as Matt called them, sour Alfredo noodles or whatever. Hair. You called it hair. He called it Alfredo pasta. If these have the texture of this, these would be much better. These are... Texture is good. The flavor is kind of just blah. It's nothing really... There's almost no flavor. It's disappointing. I do like the color blue, though. That is really nice. So I do give it props for the coloring. Flavor-wise, it's disappointing. Then last but not least is the cake. Yes. A kek sicolat... Wait. Sicolatali. Whatever that means. Where's this from? Do you remember where this is from? Oh, Turkey. Turkey, turkey, turkey. <laughs> Gobble. Those remind me of those cakes, that the square cakes you get. Uh, myself and the Wandering Woodsman, we live a couple hours apart. Hmm. Right, the, you know those square cakes you get? The one with the chocolate filling in the middle? Oh, the juniors? Yeah. Yeah. So here it is. It is like a miniature cupcake. They are molded together. Even though they look like individual ones. I was going to say fused together. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, looks okay. Oh, there's a filling in it. You guys want to split that? Is there any filling in that? <laughs> no, here, well. Oh. You got some? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, so there is, I'm hoping it's chocolate. Something it's dark chocolate. in the middle. <laughs> oh, I guess we'll try and find out. Tastes like the cupcakes that you eat. Anybody want this? Mm -hmm. Anybody want this? No. Anybody else? <laughs> I feel. It's disappointing, actually. Like, I love cupcakes, especially regular cake. Even the junior cakes from um, who are they from? Winky, but taste, tasty cake? Is it tasty cake? I don't know. Mike, do you know who makes those junior cupcakes? It's like the chocolate little cake with the cream frosting in the middle. Well, whoever makes those, those taste much better. This, um, I felt it was very dry. The sad excuse for them. <clears throat> tasty cake. Okay, zombie would know. Um, do you think it was dry? Yeah. Yeah, not much flavor to it. The, the filling in the middle, which I believe was chocolate, not prune, uh, didn't really help much at all. <clears throat> Sorry. You okay over there? My throat is stuck. Your throat is stuck? <laughs> That's a new one. Yeah, so that was uh, underwhelming, I guess you could say. I was hoping for better. But that is all of our items. So we will go through. And even though this never goes smoothly, we'd still try. We'll tell you our least favorite and favorite item. You, at least favorite from the, the critic the jolly pong and then the this sour is stuff Pit, what, which one is your number one least favorite that one okay so this is her least favorite and i say these are probably my favorite the deep dish cheese curls yeah what about you Lil? so my favorite was the sour strips and well in my second favorite is the llamas but my least favorite <laughs> um so let's pick one my least favorite is the freaking nuts here. They suck. <laughs> so the, I have a couple that I do like. My my least favorite as well was these air puffed things. Did not care for the flavor. Um, it's hard to pick my favorite because I actually have two I really like. I'm going to go off the norm. I'm going to actually agree with Jill. The deep dish... Pizza cheese curls are my favorite. They agree for once. Now, if I was to pick a sweet thing, it would be the llama bar. I would pick that as my favorite chocolatey snack. But overall, I think we have more good items than bad. So it wasn't too bad this this uh, this month. So what do you guys think? Out of everything we tried, I mean, what do you think would be your favorite item? I know. Mark it in the calendar. 
I like to find these though. These llama bars are really good. My hands are all, you know, what I forgot too is that the greasy, the greasy brownies are definitely strange. It's like something. The, it's like they put like gelatin in the packaging or something like that to keep it moist. Or, did it, or they just like kept on spraying water at it. Moist brownie, the sour strings, deep dish cheese curls. Order them online. You should request them at Walmart. <clears throat> llama bar. Your llama bar is really good. It looks different, tastes different, but enjoyable. Shark. Sharks were kind of plain, you know, but Pizza's good. Good texture. Pizza things were, I definitely could eat a lot more of these, you know. Mm -hmm. Zombies, do they have a uh, big bag of these online or just these personal serving size? I gotta get a goal of old Garrity's for that there. Use your head to shine the brownies. They're shiny enough. Marty Jones, $20 super chat. So fun, guys. Thank you, Marty. Glad you're having fun with us. Bigger bags. <laughs> Funny thing is, this has been my hairstyle for as long as you guys know me on YouTube, and the jokes still keep coming. So. <laughs> I just got to find something else to come at me with. Looks into his shiny crystal ball head. See? Boom, boom, boom. Shh. Guys, got to get more creative than that. I've heard them all. So that was box six of Munch Pack. I believe we're probably going to do maybe one or two more. I don't see us doing this for the whole year because even though we do get different snacks every time, they are similar to previous ones we've had. So... Not a whole lot of originality out there, except for like something really super gross, which I really don't want to taste anyways. But sure, this won't bother you. <laughs> you see what I deal with here? But uh, <laughs> let's just see the bottle go flying. <laughs> yeah, they are fun though. Like I said, if you ever want to check them out for yourself, just do a Google search of Munch Pack. You could choose different sizes. You could kind of customize what you want to get sent to you. And it uh, comes on a monthly basis unless you cancel it. Otherwise, there are other companies out there too. But we found out about this one from a YouTuber that we watch who does food reviews. So they are fun. But I think after a while, you kind of get start getting the same stuff. Any final thoughts from you guys? Yeah, most of the stuff was good. I was going to say something, but I don't know what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I enjoy Munch Pack. I think it's it's neat to have all the different kind of except when you have this. Well, yeah, except when you have <laughs> yeah. random icky things. But I mean, for the most part, at least you get to try different snacks all the time. It's not usually the same thing. Well, zombie, if you had your shades on, that wouldn't be a problem. So that's your own fault. <laughs> um, only thing I could say is make sure you guys tune in tomorrow. I will have a video premiere 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's going to be just ma me, myself, and I. <laughs> me, by myself. Um, going on quite an adventure. It's a longer video, so grab some snacks. Join us, chat with us, and see what kind of things we do find in this video. Let Judy know that you got your mask. Yes, Judy. I did open your blue envelope. You said open ASAP. The mask is large enough, so thank you for sending me that. Um, the other thing, too, is I'm going to try to do a live stream sometime between the next couple days, whether it's going to be driving around in the afternoon, maybe we'll get lunch or something or take a ride through some small towns or like find a section of woods. If it's not raining, they're calling for rain the next three, four days, but I'm going to try to do a daytime afternoon drive stream. But before then, make sure you tune in tomorrow night though for the premiere at 8 PM. But I guess that's it. So Rudy said if awesome, let her know if you need more. <clears throat> okay. We'll do. Yeah, if you guys are catching this in the replay, feel free to comment down below what you guys thought of uh, the items that we received. But we will be back next month with the new lunch pack. And as far as chow time, I do have more camping meals to make. And we did see, I'm not sure if it's out yet here, one of the people we watched got a garlic burger from Burger King. I'm not sure if it's available locally. If it is, I may get one of those and do a review on it as well. And don't forget to check out Lily's channel, Life of Lily. She is going to be making some new videos. She did pull one out of the two cats that we have, Jinx and Salem, uh, about a week or two ago. That's her latest video. But she is going to be making a new video soon, right? Yes. Okay, so 
Life of Villa, you can check her out. And all my other channels under my recommended channels tab on my main page there. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys have a good night. Stay safe out there. And we'll see, see you, you in the next video. video. Bye, guys. Yeah.